still can I, yeah. It's going to take like a few more seconds to really jump in there. Mm -hmm. Okay, now it has a zero eyeball thing, which means the stream is started. Okay, hi. You can start like 10 seconds. Hey! Hey guys, how's it going? Some guy who cooks here. And as you know, it is dessert month, which means we, well, we got to make dessert. It's Saturday night. It's 11.23 p.m. It's, you know, a little bit late for, for a lot of people, but you know what? When do you have dessert? Before you go to bed. Come on, guys. So Only. we're making, what's that? Only. Only, well, you know, you can have dessert anytime. anytime really. I was, yeah, actually, I was but, the same uh, time. but it's just like, you know, it's just like when pizza's on a bagel, you can eat pizza anytime. Uh, but in this case, dessert. I see David has jumped in. Huzzah! Hello, David. Glad to have you here. Uh, and uh, tonight we're going to be making crepes, but a very special kind of crepe, uh, specifically tapioca ones. So in, in Brazil, they call it, well, they call it, just call it tapioca, right? Tapioca. Yeah, mm -hmm. they just call it tapioca in Brazil. Uh, now, you're the one who introduced me to this, and, uh, and I feel I should introduce you to everyone. I know you you made a brief appearance in one of my episodes before, a very ago. brief one, yeah. long ago. Everyone, this is Alejandra, and she's wonderful, and uh, you should all just adore her because she's great. So, oh wow, does it work like that? Yes, yeah, okay. exactly like that. I see Cody has jumped in. Hey, all, huzzah! Glad you're here. Hey to you too. Uh, glad you're here, as I already said, but still. So, anyway, what do we need to make tapioca? It's actually very simple, guys. It's not a lot. Uh, you need tapioca flour. We're going to use this whole bag. It's almost 500 grams. We've got 454 grams, and we're just going to drop it right into our bowl here, okay? Woo, it's powdering up on us a little bit. I feel like a, uh, I feel like Scarface. I feel like a, a drug lord. <laughs> this is okay. What is that? <laughs> That's a, a drug reference. <laughs> uh, does she have a channel? No, so she she does not have a channel. Uh -huh. No, um, no. she she is just you know a really cool person who I very much. Uh, you know, love and adore, and, and she's awesome. So, you know, yeah, you're welcome. So what do we need? We need the, that almost 500 grams of tapioca flour. We also need about 250 milliliters of water. So, you know, measure it out, and you want to be pretty precise. Don't just, you know, use your eyes like this. Set it down on a flat surface. If you want to be super, super careful, you know, go back to seventh grade science class and use that knowledge. But uh, what do we do here? Okay, we're... Like pouring the water into Pour it the in. okay. flour. We'll go ahead and point down at the flour at the okay. at the at, at the bowl here. So just just all of it right on in, or slowly? Uh, or what? Slowly. I slowly. Okay. Use half of it first. So pour about half of it in. And this is going to start getting how do you call this? Clumpy. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's very clumpy. Um, it it, uh, it it think about like when you mix cornstarch with water, guys. Um, it's it's similar. It, it, this may be a non-Newtonian fluid. I'm not sure if tapioca exactly is, but it very much seems like it. It's very thick, uh, and uh, it, it just yeah, it forms kind of clumps when you mix it with yeah. the water like this. I really which, like this. I think it's super fun to do this because it's. I've never seen. I mean, I think this is the only thing I've seen that turns into this when you're at water. Yeah. Um, so, no. so we need to make some oobleck sometime just for fun. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know what that is. It's cornstarch and water. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's really cool because it does this, but when you add enough of it, it becomes so it's kind of kind of gooey. And uh, oh yeah, there you yeah, go, guys. Yeah, I think that you can see what the, what's going on there. Mm -hmm. um, we still have a little bit more water. Yeah, I think the light is not helping because this is also. White. Well, let's see if it looks better if I turn off that really bright light or if I just turn it down a bit. So I dropped it to about 50. There we go. Yeah, that's a lot better. Mm -hmm. I see Crystal has jumped in. Huzzah! How's it going, Crystal? Glad to see you. Cody says I'd be in love as well. <laughs> see, you already have fans. Oh wow. Maybe you need a channel. But yeah, guys, it's uh, it, it's looking clumpy. Okay, that's it's looking clumpy. That's all we which need. Which is what we're looking for. Um, oh, you know what? We will need a second bowl. We do. We need a second bowl. 
Do you have Here we one? go. I do. Guys, this is the first mixing bowl I ever bought. I got it at the dollar store. It got a little crack in it, and I was feeling sentimental, so I glued it. <laughs> <laughs> I see Ana Paula Silva has oh. jumped in. Huzzah! Glad you're here. Welcome. Buenos hey. dias. <laughs> Buenas noches. Buenas noches, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, I almost jumped in my Italian and said buona notte. <laughs> okay. We are making tapioca. <laughs> Come later, con the salad coco. <laughs> okay. Couple different kinds. Okay, so it's nice and clumpy here. What's our next step? Okay. Uh, you will tell me the words, but we need to use this to make it thinner. <laughs> <Alton> brown. <laughs> the tonka, lumpy. What? Alton Brown. So Crystal is quoting Alton Brown, which much respect, mad respect, Crystal. So yes, yeah, so we need to make this lumpy tapioca not as lumpy. So what we need, we need a sieve. Uh, and we're going to pour some of it in and just push it through that sieve into a separate bowl so it's more powdery. So this bowl, luckily well, the sieve fits right on top of the bowl. So look at that. We're just getting it right on in there. And I see Michael Daniel has jumped in. Huzzah! Glad to see you. Sorry, I probably blew out your eardrum there. I didn't get what you said, so it's fine. Uh, and Anna says, you are an expert in tapiocas. Yeah, I am. I love it. And Crystal says, the gravy episode for the lumps in Alton Brown. Yes, I'll be sure to check out that gravy episode. It's been a while since I've watched uh, Alton Brown, but I love that guy. He's fantastic. He's my favorite Food Network person, I think. Uh, I've made his uh, his eggnog several times. In fact, I have some of it in the fridge right now. Ooh. It's been aging for a while. Eggnog? Mm -hmm. Eggnog is a delicious beverage usually consumed around Christmas time. Uh, and it's made with uh, egg yolks uh, and heavy cream mm -hmm. and like cinnamon and nutmeg, okay. things of that nature. And uh, if you're making an alcoholic eggnog, then it's also got brandy and rum and things like that. Um, and then sometimes you'll froth up the egg whites into a, a meringue that you can mix into it as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess I'll have to try that. So you, yeah, absolutely. I love eggnog, but eggnog is not what we're making tonight. Tonight, no, we're making tapioca. So let's go ahead and show. Yeah, we, we definitely have enough to start. Just to show you guys, here it is. Um, it's. It's very powdery. It's very fine. Um, in fact, it would. Uh, you could. Do you think you could like form a snowball out of that? Mm -hmm. It would be very fun to hit someone with a snowball made out of tapioca. I think. Um, no, it's not. Steve, anymore, it's so such a strange spelling. Sieve, such as. Oh yes, sieve is a very strange spelling. I agree. It is. And uh, yes, Michael, no, it is not an eggnog episode. It is a tapioca episode. We're making tapioca crepes, uh, which are super yummy, delicious, and super simple. All The only ingredients you need to make the crepe itself are, is tapioca flour and water, two ingredients. So get a bag almost uh, around 500 uh, grams of tapioca flour and then 250 milliliters of water. Mix it around real good until it forms a clumpy, uh, just a big old bowl of clumps. And then you push them through a sieve like this with a spoon and you form a, a nice powder here. Yeah. And now we can show the magic of tapioca. And Daniel says, let's have an eggnog episode for Christmas. You know we will. We have to, okay? I'm some guy who cooks. I'm also some guy who drinks. And he drinks a lot of eggnog given the opportunity. Um, so... Our tapioca is prepared, guys. Uh, now it's just a matter of cooking it. So this is the interesting part. This is something that I was a little skeptical when I first saw this as to whether or not it would work, but it does. So we're going to come on down to the griddle here so you can see. And I've got my spatula. And uh, Alejo is going to go ahead and start making these, I guess. So definitely don't yeah. touch the metal of the spoon to the griddle because it's not okay. good for it. You can use this uh, stuff to do okay. that. So, so so what we're doing here, and you can see it's kind of popping a little bit, but spread out your tapioca flour and it it's, it's going to become like a pancake. Mm -hmm. It's like it starts to glue when you're yeah. like heating so, it. 
when you heat it, it kind of melts and forms one big pancake. Do you want to add some more to the outside, or is that you know? Um, actually, let's take this as trial. I don't like the way it's it's looking like. I mean, it's not. So you round can enough. say so you can say like a uh, like a regular crepe or or a pancake. The first one's kind of a throwaway. Let's go ahead and okay. flip. We need a, a, a dish. We'll go ahead and let it cook anyway. I mean, why why throw it away? Throw it away. I never throw no, it no, throw no, away. I don't, away. But it's I want it to look more round, and it's not. But, yeah, so we're we're just being picky here, guys. <laughs> I guess I, I took. Michael says, "Why are you wearing a visitor sticker?" Okay, so uh, yeah, I forgot to take that off. So I was visiting my dad earlier. My dad's in the hospital right now. He had to have a surgery recently. He's doing well, guys. Uh, he's unfortunately in there for a little longer than he was hoping and expecting. Uh, so he's going to possibly be in there another day. So that's why I was. Uh, that's why I'm wearing the visitor sticker. I. I I forgot about uh, that I was even wearing it, um, but that that answers that question. Um, so technically, though, so yeah, we'll yeah, pass so, that back to the tapioca. Technically, we've got a tapioca here. Yeah. So when when it's it's like you want when you want you want it to be kind of like a burrito almost. Yeah. The thing with this is that when it starts pulling down, it uh, becomes crunchy, and you don't want that because you want to be able to. Right, you it. want to wrap it, yeah. So we. So we need to put filling on it right mm -hmm. now. So here's here's the simple way. You can do sweet. You can do savory. Careful. Mm -hmm. uh, it, what we're gonna do right now is uh is Ada's favorite, I believe, is we're gonna pour on a little bit of sweetened condensed milk. And we're gonna add some shredded coconut. Oh, sweetened condensed milk! How I love the. I guess you can take care of that, and I can do it. Okay. Yoga. Okay. So I'll go ahead and put on some coconut. You put on your sweetened condensed milk. You put on your coconut, and you can do sweetened or unsweetened. I've got unsweetened right now, but there we go. And then we just roll it on up. Right, like that. You can, I mean, I usually do this on. And here we go. We have a little tapioca burrito here. <laughs> um, this is the first time I'm doing this on a griddle. I usually do it in a pan, and the roundness of the pan helps. Um, but I guess it's working. Thanks, Mike. I appreciate it. Uh, Crystal said she missed the answer. Oh, so you 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 got it now, Crystal. Um, so yep, here we go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, he's he's doing well. And yes, Crystal. So whoops, we're we're kind of making a, a tortilla here. Um, Michael says tapioca burrito. Yum, smash it. Smash it. <laughs> like that. <laughs> like so there we go, guys. Um. This is super fast. Yeah, it happens really quick. It really and, does. Yeah, and then it also cools down very fast and becomes crunchy very mm -hmm. fast. So you don't want that. So real quick, mm -hmm. we want to pour on our sweetened condensed milk and coconut very fast here. And I am uh, I'm being very liberal with this. Yeah, you are. <laughs> um, which hey, that's okay. It's still super yummy, delicious. But there we go. So, you know what? I'm going to enjoy one of these real quick. Yeah, go ahead. It, it will, yeah. It's better when it's hot. So, I want to show you guys. Here it is. Here's that second one. It's still hot. Look how pretty this is. It turned out great. It's uh, it's beautiful. And it's also beautiful in the mouth. Oh. Mm-hmm. Very unique texture here, too. It's uh, it's hard to describe. It's a little squishy, a little springy. This is for me. Mm hmm. And uh, you wouldn't, you really wouldn't expect this stuff to hold the shape, but it does. And to emphasize, the fact that it is very versatile, so you can fill them with fill them with ham and cheese if you want. But I'm gonna make a Reese's one tonight. 
I've got some Reese's peanut butter chips, and I've got some Nutella. Mm. Mm. Somehow, though, I doubt it's going to be as good as the coconut and sweetened condensed milk. It sounds like blasphemy. I love Reese's, but this is special. Mm. So maybe Lois, you want to try? Mm. I guess now is my chance. So here we go. Nutella. And don't be shy. Pile it high. Who doesn't love a nice big helping of Nutella? Mm. Nutella. Some peanut butter chips. And I don't know, you think I should add some sweetened condensed milk as well? Oh, or do you no. think that's enough? I think that's enough. <laughs> Would you like to try a piece of it? Yeah. I'm okay, guys. So wrapping this up. Huh? Okay. There you go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. <laughs> See, I just love Nutella. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. I think um, it's good too. This is definitely good as well. They're very different. They're very different. Mm -hmm. I can't say whether I like one more than the other because just because of how different they are. I know what you're going to say. What? You like the coconut. Yeah, I do. And to that, I see uh, Crystal said, you are eating. Whoop, <laughs> I want to show it. What, what, what are you doing, Restream? Here we go. She says, you are eating thick sugared milk. Taste-wise, how can it go wrong? Precisely. Mm -hmm. uh, David says, pineapple with the coconut. That might be pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, in Brazil, they, they can also add mm -hmm. fruits to that. Michael says, maybe soon you'll make something chocolate on your prize, prize Blackstone. And the answer is, we were planning on doing that earlier, and we probably yeah. still will. Uh, I got a mold for chocolate eggs for Easter. Even though it's not Easter anymore, we can still make. I mean, yeah, an the Easter mold egg. came late. Yeah, the mold came late. Um, Gray Wolf, you, you've joined us. Huzzah! Glad to see you're in here. I haven't had something decadently sweet in the longest time, and now you want chocolate because this looks delicious, and I'm going to tell you, it is delicious. Ah! Well, there we go, guys. Super simple. Super delicious. You can say that again. Um, we still have a bunch of flour. And we may continue eating these throughout the night. Just because they're very good. Mm -hmm. And the griddle's already hot. And all the flour is made. So, give them a shot sometime, everybody. Real quick, let's hear it one more time for our special guest. I guess you can't hear anyone but me, so this is a little embarrassing, but let's pretend I was dusting off my hand. Here we go. Well, thank you. Thank you for, for inviting jumping. me. <laughs> always, always. And thank you guys for watching and jumping in. This has been a, a, a fun, quick episode, and I hope you enjoyed it as well. And um, gosh, what am I going to do with all this sweet and condensed milk? Guess I'm going to have to drink it or eat it or... Put it into tapioca. Yeah, we can make more tapioca. In the meantime. Mmm. Mmm. All right. Michael says, great job, you two. Thanks. Thank you. Love the comments, everybody. Joy jumped in. Joy, huzzah! Last second. Glad to see you in here as well. You made it just in time to say good night and good night. So before it turns midnight, everybody, one more time, like, subscribe, share. And comment down below if you have any recommendations for things you'd like to see inside of a tapioca. Leave that in the comments below. 
If you think these look gross, say so. If you think they look amazing, say so. Anything your heart desires, leave a comment, and we will be happy to uh, see it. Won't be responding anymore because we're done for the night. But it's been great talking to all of you and cooking for all of you, and I hope you all give this a shot. Cheap, easy, quick to make. Much love, everybody. And until next time, I'm some guy who cooks. See you. Hey. <laughs> Sorry. You're good. You're so Take it easy, guys.